Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I just wanted to go through the uh, latest VPN Fusion. Uh, so as we know there's uh, three different options you can get within the uh, Asus routers. So you, depending on the models you can have the VPN server. So this is where you've got your uh, PPTP VPN server, an open VPN, uh, IPsec VPN and WireGuard VPN. So all of these are different kind of protocols, so they're all VPN servers. So what these allow you to do is to, um, when you're away from home, you can uh, dial back into your home network securely and you can then uh, look at your local devices. So if you have a home NAS or a server at home, uh, you can dial back into the home network and access all those devices securely from any other country around the world. And it's all and the actual connections encrypted like within a VPN. Uh, so it's much more secure. Again, it's depending on the actual protocol you use. So most people will use the uh, bottom three. The top one is a bit old and I think it's more of a legacy. So I wouldn't advise very much using this one anymore. The other three are the ones that you probably you want to be using. The limitation with this is that you've, of course, as a VPN, most people nowadays, and I think in the climate, um, uh, we have, you want to use a VPN to perhaps uh, get video channels from another country or basically uh, pretend that your, your device is uh, in another country so you can access that device um, and that country's kind of uh, media or something like that. Uh, so... It's very easy with uh, Asus. They make it really, really simple. Um, so again, this is your home network one. So this is why we're going to concentrate today just on VPN Fusion. So most Asus, uh, newer Asus routers have VPN Fusion. So what this particularly does is basically um, VPN Fusion allows you to connect to multiple VPN servers simultaneously and assign your basically devices or your client devices using different VPN tunnels. So in, in theory, what you could example you could do is that um, my uh, Apple TV, uh, I could have that going through a VPN to say America. So I get the uh, Netflix, uh, YouTube and things like that, uh, videos that are catered for the American market. So I get a different a catalog of videos to watch. I could have another device, say my mobile phone, going through another VPN um, and that could be going to, say, Spain, where I want to watch uh, Spanish content that's normally only for Spain. Um, and then, again, you, you can have multiple uh, devices, I think up to 16 altogether, so um, there's a huge amount. Um, but then you can have a collective as well, so you can choose what devices you want to go through. And basically, if, if you select them, you can, of course, switch it off, but because it, it's done at router level, there's nothing to install on your phones. It works on your Apple TVs, your Google TVs, your actual smart TVs, any device that it finds it hard that we can't actually use a VPN on. And also makes it simpler because you don't have to install any software on your device, your mobile phone, your tablet, um, your TVs, as I said, anything like that, or even computers, Windows and Mac OS, all is done in the uh, router level and you can do it on the app or the web interface like we're seeing here. Again, so all you do is you log into your router. So you'll normally find that at 192.168.50.1. Um, again, if you've upgraded the uh, router software recently, uh, you'll just to be aware that you'll be using uh, HTTPS um, and basically that connection there. And then you'll probably have a different port afterwards. So it'll be something like 192.168.50.1 and then it'll be kind of colon uh, 8443 after it as a, as a secure connection because they tried to harden the connection since the uh, new firmware that's come out since August 2025. So it does be aware of that different uh, kind of IP address to access your device now. Also, you can use the uh, local domain if you've got there. I think it's around Asus, uh, uh, basically, um, and you can go through that. So, as I said there, it, it gives you the really the fundamentals that you can set this up here and forget kind of thing. So your devices always constantly go through. Again, you can have like a server that's constantly going through a VPN as well or anything like that that you want. 
and you don't have to install any software on your mobile, smart TVs, game consoles even, and things like that. It just makes things much life much easier. So before you set up the Asus Ray router, so you'd, again, as we were saying, you don't need to actually set up anything on your device. It's all through here. So basically what we can look here is um, on profiles. So what you do is you log into your router. As we said, you go to the VPN uh, option on the side here under general. Uh, you do have the options on the app. So I show that on screen here as well, where these are the options you can go in if you've got the app and you don't want to go into the web interface. Um, and you can do the web interface again. Don't forget you via your phone, your tablet, via Chrome, Safari, Samsung mobile um, browser and things like that. You just log in and then go to VPN Fusion. It will load up here where you will see. So it will, by default, all devices are currently going through the default connection of the Internet. So that means it's just going directly through the Internet uh, and not through any VPNs. You can see here I've got no profile set up as we can just scroll down. You can you do have a guide of information as well. So if you do need any further help, you have some helpful guides here where you can click on the little question marks and it will take you to some FAQs and things like that. So if just quickly just to visualize, uh, you know, what it actually looks like when you're going through it. So if I just show you here, as you can see on screen, you can see where the red desktop and then the console that will actually just, we want that to go through, this is your network, through your main router. And then what it will do is that profile will go through this def default connection that we just sh shown. And that will go straight through to the ordinary internet and then out um, and then so you can have the uh, best ping and uh, kind of uh, connection that you want. Uh, but if you see in the bottom left where you've got like a smart TV, um, we want that to say to go to a, a, a pretend it's in America. Um, so again, we have no software to install on the on the TV. All we have to do is set it up later, as I show you on the devices. And you can see that blue connection that goes all the way through the router, and it will automatically basically go through um, through the network and everything else to the uh, another country kind of thing. So you can see here where on the uh, desktops and the mobile devices will go through to the v uh, natural VPN server on your left hand side. So you can see here it's, it's really cool where you can have the consoles um, on the top uh, left and, and your desktop PC. The red line goes all the way to the ordinary Internet and um, you can see your like basically your uh, computer or your tablets from the top right. Um, going through to the VPN servers now so it pretends it's in another country so you can see that content or just secure your connection so you're not restricted by the country that you're in if there's any kind of um, restrictions that you have there but again use this again uh, with your local laws and restrictions that you're in so you don't get any trouble so if we just uh, go back to the screen and if, all you have to do is really straightforward click on add profile so again you must uh, normally will have to sign up. So mo I know most people now have signed up to a VPN of some kind. So to make it much easier, um, Asus have signed up to give you special offers. So as you can see here, you have Surfshark and they'll give you uh, four months free. Again, it depends on the country you're on. Uh, and this is currently in the UK. Then you had NordVPN, so it gives you an extra 10% off. Um, and then you have the CyberGhost as well. Uh, that way you can go through and again you get four months three with those as well so when you click through here we'll just it'll give, we'll give you a link kind of thing so it, like with cyber ghost it says it's recommended by asus um you can go through here and in fact they've actually got now five months three with their two-year plan with, within the uk um and then you've got here your uh plans here and of course these are in uh, pounds uh as i mean the uk but yours will be in American dollars or any other currency that you're currently uh, watching uh, or in the euros uh, Then again, you've got Surfshark. So again, all of these will take you through to the special offers that they've got set up with Asus um, So you can actually sign up for these and then download the files So if we do this example, so with this connection, all we want to do is say perhaps say uh, Apple Apple TV uh, So I know or we just want to stream this so we just want it to go to the USA so I know this connection is going to the USA, so I know all the devices I want to add to this. Uh, say like I've got my smart, uh, two smart TVs and also um, my Apple TV and Google TV. I want, that's going all through to the connection for USA. 
Um, so I want them because I want to see the USA content on there. Uh, I select my VPN type again. So you do have other options down here for WireGuard and OPN. So if your VPN uh, server is um, company is not listed here, you can use their generic uh, configuration files from them. So they're all fully supported here as well. But uh, in this example, I'm just going to use the default because I've already got a cyber ghost. Um, and you can see here they've got special offers to sign up for things like that. What you'll do is you'll log into the your actual uh, account and then uh, so it does give you clear instructions as well. So if we go to on some of these where you can sign up, um, you can go down and it does actually give you some information within the, even with the ASUS website where it will actually say to you where you need to add your profile. You click through say like with CyberGhost and then it will show here where you just go into manual setup configuration and configure device. You select your protocol, so again that will be OpenVPN, and then you'll select your country, so in this example it's Japan, and then you'll be open servers, and then you can select any of the options that you want here. Um, and then this will be your device name for your ASUS model they've got. You save configuration, and then once you've got that, you've down basically you've downloaded uh, the actual information, and you'll be able to see like here you've got all the You've got view here and you can basically your username and password that you've got for this account. Again, this will be roughly the same for each of your uh, kind of ones. So I'll put the links in there for the Surfshark and the Nord as well um, that you can go to and they'll have their own help pages there as well. And as we said, then you just go on to through the process. So once you've got your configuration file, you will then click import. That will bring up a, a screen where you can then select your uh, imported file. Um, so then you just click on that. As we said, you click on your file that you want to import. Then uh, you just give it a few seconds to upload. And then there is options to upload any other files that if you need to, on depending on what service you've got. You can then just uh, enter your details, as we said before, from your username and password. Just be, be caution uh, that some of these... Uh, VPN servers, uh, services, basically the username and password is not always the same as the, the uh, password and username you use to log in. Sometimes it's a custom one. So you need to make sure that's when, you, when you're configuring the device that you actually double check. And if it's not connecting, it may be because it's, it uses a different username and password. Sometimes they customize it for security. You can then go to content. So again, if you need to with this, but most of the time you can leave this blank um, and you just need to import that to OPVN. So most of these connections are going to be over OpenVPN. So when you do select like on this example here where it's asking you the protocol, so it's the same for uh, CyberGhost, Nord or Surfshark or any of those, you always select the OpenVPN connection and of course the country um, that you've got. Then you just upload it as we said that's all you've got to do it makes it very straightforward then here comes to the uh, interesting part where you can actually before you apply and enable you can then see that there's zero devices that are going to be using this connection um, so i just want to click on the little one here you can see all my devices here so um, and everything else so i just want say this uh, apple kind of tv the google tv box and my apple phone um, and then you can select that even the uh, Apple TV, so you can select this one here, um, and then you, you can go down your list and then of devices. So you can see I've just got that one TV here, and you can apply and enable. So once you've clicked that, basically it might give you some kind of warning here, and then it will start applying the settings. So what it will do is it will try and it will uh, might restart your router. So just give it a second, as you'll see it here is going through pretty quickly. Uh, going through and updating, but as I said, the, your devices might quickly disconnect and connect because it's got to restart the router and make sure the devices you've selected are going to be routed correctly through the VPN instead of through your normal internet connection. So once you've done that, you'll see uh, it'll start to load up um, and then you've got your profile there. So as after it's reset um, and basically uh, you've got a restart and it's got uh, the router's back online, you can connect again. You'll see under your list, if you go to VPN and VPN Fusion, you can see the process of the uh, connection and you can see it might say initializing, please wait. So it might give it a few minutes to actually load the connection. 
Um, again, if you, it constantly stays like that, then as I said, just check your details. Configuration file, um, make sure you've uploaded the correct one. And also again, around the username and password, make sure that is, um, if it's not your proper normal password that you log into, again, it might be a custom password that you need to double check on the um, on the website for your actual uh, VPN server. And again, it's that simple, it's literally just importing, a, well, logging into your VPN service, downloading the configuration file that you've set up on their website, importing it here, entering the username and password, choosing the device, and that's it. So now my device, my Apple TV, will be constantly going through this Apple uh, USA VPN connection with CyberGhost. Um, and I don't have to install any software or do anything on the device. It automatically just constantly goes. And again, if of course, if I want to switch this off and I don't want it to actually uh, continue going through the USA connection, I can just un basically click this toggle here and switch it off and it'll go back to using the normal internet connection. But if I leave it on, it'll just, every time, it'll just connect through there. So it'll bypass any restrictions that you have uh, within your country or wherever it is you are in the world. But again, use this responsibility um, and basically check the laws and regulations uh, in with country that you're in. But this will basically set it up as easy as anything and you won't have to worry about it ever. So you're always constantly using a VPN. So you don't have to install the software on any of your devices on and off or did I switch it back on again? And this is makes sure your device is constantly going through um, and it just makes life so much easier for everyone. And as we said, you can just come here later on if you want to change the devices, you just click that little pen and you can choose then the list of actual um, basically devices that you want to add on. And again, you can switch off individual devices if you have more than one um, and you can do that as well here as well. So I hope you found this quick video uh, helpful. Again, um, leave any uh questions in the comments section i'll try and get back to you as quick as possible as but as you've seen vpn fusion with asus routers really makes life so much easier with everything and with the current climate we're in as well if you want security and things like that with your vpn um, then this is the way to go where you don't have to uh, set anything up on your devices you can literally just uh, get it all connected and sorted and as you can see in this little diagram here you can have your laptop, you can have your smartphone, your PS4, your Xbox, your desktop. It can go through, say one of them, two of them can go through tunnel two, and one of them can go through VPN, and then the smartphone can just continue going through the normal internet or your PS4, Xbox can, or your console, and go there because you want the fastest connection. You're not too worried about having a VPN on there. And again, as we said, all we have to do is come in here and toggle to switch it off. It's that simple. Okay, great. Thanks for watching and have a great day.